Get ready to buckle up and hold on tight because we're about to take a ride down memory lane to revisit one of the biggest failures in automotive history, the Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine. This engine was supposed to be the game changer, the revolutionary powerhouse that would set the bar for all future engines to come. But what happened next will leave you shocked and amazed. Instead, it turned out to be a massive failure, leaving behind a trail of disappointment and frustration. So what went wrong? What insane reasons caused the Detroit Diesel Series 60 to become the biggest failure ever? Let's dive in and find out. Are you in possession of a Detroit Series 60 engine? Chances are, it's functioning quite well for you. This type of engine, which is electronically controlled, has a positive track record that extends across all three versions. Despite being out of production for several years, it remains a popular choice for many operators. Although this engine has been a reliable workhorse for many years, it is not without its flaws, like any other engine. Below, we'll take a closer look at some of the most prevalent issues and complaints associated with Detroit Series 60 engines and their potential causes. Keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list of all possible problems, but it's worth keeping an eye out for these issues if you notice that your engine isn't performing as well as it used to. Cold Starts Series 60 engines, as their name suggests, can encounter issues during cold starts. These problems may stem from the loss of the prime and difficulty in starting the engine, especially in cold temperatures. Fortunately, using a starting fluid can be an effective remedy to mitigate this problem. Once the engine is up and running, you shouldn't experience any further difficulties. However, if you continue to have trouble starting your engine in cold temperatures, it may be worth considering changing the synchronous reference sensor SRS and timing reference sensor TRS. These two sensors are crucial to ensuring proper engine operation and replacing them at the same time is recommended to avoid any potential issues. By taking these steps, you can ensure that your Series 60 engine starts and runs smoothly even in cold temperatures. Remember, it's important to stay on top of regular engine maintenance to avoid any issues down the line. Defective Rust Pen the issue at hand pertains to Series 60 engines that were manufactured before the year 2002. In some of these engines, certain wrist pins had a defect that caused the piston pin and the crown to separate. This separation, in turn, led to the disconnection of the connecting rod. As a result, one or more of the loose components would then collide with the engine block, often creating a hole in it. It is worth noting that not all Series 60 engines built before 2002 were affected by this problem. Nonetheless, it was still a critical issue that could cause the engine to fail catastrophically. Therefore, it is important to identify the engines that are at risk and take appropriate measures to rectify the issue. Cooling System Like any other engine, it is crucial to regularly monitor the cooling system of diesel engines. Overheating can lead to various significant problems such as engine failure and expensive repairs. Thus, it is advisable to maintain the cooling system in good condition to prevent preventable issues and ensure optimal engine performance. Neglecting the cooling system can result in a casket of failures such as warped heads, blown gaskets, and damaged pistons that may require costly repairs or even engine replacement. Regular maintenance, such as checking the coolant level, replacing damaged hoses, and cleaning the radiator can prevent these problems and extend the engine's lifespan. Throttle Problems the issue at hand is not a common one and it mainly affects those who have installed specific types of aftermarket engine brakes. These brakes may require different programming than what is standard on the Series 60 engine. As a result, the disconnect may cause a loss of throttle. If you are experiencing issues with your throttle and this is not the cause, it may be wise to inspect your TPS throttle position sensor. The TPS is a crucial component in the electronic control system of the Series 60 engine especially in drive-by-wire applications. This system allows for electronic control to occur, and the TPS plays a vital role in ensuring that the engine is functioning correctly. If there is a problem with your throttle, it is a good idea to start by checking your TPS. It is essential to understand that the loss of throttle can be a significant safety issue, especially if you are driving on the road. Therefore, if you suspect that your TPS is faulty, it is advisable to seek professional assistance to diagnose and repair the problem. Bearing Issues In older Series 60 engines, bearing problems, especially spun bearings, are quite common. These issues usually stem from low oil pressure at idle, which can lead to a lack of lubrication and eventually cause overheating. A spun bearing is a serious problem that can cause the bearing to seize, leading to even more significant issues. 
It's worth noting that low oil pressure at idle is a well-known issue with these particular engines, and many owners have reported experiencing it. Therefore, it's important to be proactive and keep a close eye on your lower bearings to ensure they are receiving proper lubrication. EGR Problems The later Series 60 engines are equipped with an EGR system to reduce oxides of nitrogen's emissions. However, this system is often criticized for causing engine problems, especially the EGR cooler. If you are experiencing issues with your EGR cooler, you might notice an exhaust leak, which can be seen as white exhaust. This could indicate a coolant leak, resulting in lower coolant levels in the engine. If not addressed, this can eventually cause the engine to overheat. Specifically, operators of the 14L Series 60 engine seem to encounter more problems with their EGR system than other engines. Fuel Economy The 14L engine is known for its poor fuel economy, which is a common complaint among users. As the engine was designed for greater horsepower, fuel consumption increased, which has been attributed to poor operating practices by some. However, it is important to note that the engine's design could also contribute to this issue. If you are experiencing low fuel efficiency with your 14L engine, it is recommended to check your operating practices and ensure that you are not consistently running the engine at high RPM. This could be a factor that contributes to the engine's high fuel consumption. While some issues are more prevalent than others with the Series 60 engine, it is advisable to be mindful of all potential problems that could arise. Like any engine, it is crucial to perform regular preventive maintenance to ensure the engine's optimal performance and longevity. In conclusion, the Detroit Diesel Series 60 was a catastrophic failure that cost its creators millions of dollars and damaged its reputation in the industry. Despite its promising start, the engine was plagued by design flaws manufacturing defects, and reliability issues that ultimately led to its downfall. From faulty fuel injectors to inadequate cooling systems, the Series 60 suffered from a wide range of problems that left drivers and manufacturers alike scratching their heads in disbelief. Today, the engine is a cautionary tale for anyone looking to innovate in the automotive industry. A reminder that even the most promising ideas can turn out to be disastrous if not executed properly.